Hello everyone, I'm Bob McFarlane, the software developer on the Save the Cat team. I've got a couple of new features to show you that might make your story development process a bit easier. Both of these new features are for the board, so let's take a look. I have my project open and the board selected. Now I'm demonstrating with the Windows version, but the Mac version works the same with one exception that I'll mention in a minute. Depending upon how you have your board sized, it may be too large to see it all at once. So if you want to move to another section of the board, you have to use the scroll bars one at a time, like this. I'll scroll horizontally and vertically. Wouldn't it be nice to move the board in both directions at the same time? And here's the new feature. You can drag the board around using your right mouse button, like this. On the Mac, if you're using the trackpad on a laptop, you can already use two fingers to do the same thing. But now, if you're using an Apple mouse with click right side setup, you can pan the board by dragging with the right side of the mouse. Okay, let's talk about the second new feature. You may think of this as lassoing. If you need to move several items on the board to another location on the board, currently you would have to move them one at a time. Now, you can lasso several items and move them together. If you click and drag using the left mouse button, you will see a rectangle forming. Drag it so that it overlaps all of the items you want to move. When you release the mouse button, a paper clip will appear on the selected items. Now, just pick one of the all the other items will follow, like little ducklings. When you get to the edge, the board will automatically scroll for you, so just keep dragging until you reach your destination. After reaching your destination, release the mouse button and the paper clips will disappear. If you select several items, then change your mind, just click on the board and the items will be released from their shackles. One note, when doing this, if you have the auto align scene cards on board option turned on, when you release the mouse button, the scene cards will jump into position to auto align themselves within the respective beat. So don't be surprised when that happens. Well, that's the two new features for the board. I hope they make your story development just a bit easier. And thanks for watching.